guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Alex and Lori. Oh, say hi, buddy. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt that I had on in my little Target update. I just got home. I want to put this Dollar Tree haul out and get some stuff done today. My shoulder is so sore from my ride yesterday, but it's a good sore, so I'm not going to complain about that. And let's get into it because it's a pretty big haul. I went to my one store and kind of hit the jackpot on Halloween and fall stuff. Um, I grabbed some scatter, confetti scatter. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it is black hats black witches and the word boo and I just thought this is super cute to like glue on to something or fill if you do pocket letters or whatever I thought that was cute so I grabbed that I grabbed some floral foam for a project I'll show you here in a minute and I picked up one more of these football signs to make my Buckeye sign or whatever team you root for. OSU is just mine, but Michigan, you could do um, blue and gold or Georgia or whoever you root for. You can do whatever you want with these or leave them just like they are because they're totally cute. I want to make one and I have an idea to do with the extras. So I'm super excited about that, but I need one more. Um, I grabbed this uh, sugar skull. I just think it's adorable. I have better markers that I will use or paint to color it in and I thought I would magnet it and put it on my kitchen. I don't know for Halloween. I thought that was super fun. Um, the kids obviously will enjoy this but so will I. Fun. I grabbed a variety. I think is it? No. Oh, yes. Of this chip. I think it's chipboard. To paint for different holidays but I might stain these and like make them rustic but I grabbed the turkey I grabbed two of these I'm obsessed with the acorns this season oh I can do it this way and hang them on my wall as a, like a pairing or something paint them up but I love the acorn this year and whatever I decide I'm not using I'll pass on to my cousin she loves to do arts and crafts hi Addie she also watches my channel because I'm cool. I'm like Cousin Lori, please. And I got two of these fall leaves, which I think are fun to paint. Again, just to have around. I love fall. These would be fun to hang from your ceiling maybe or up high. Stain them or like whitewash them. I think those would be cute. I'm really into rustic, as you know. All right. That is bag number one. Ugh. Sorry, I hurt. Bag number two. I did pick up some of this diamond wrap. One with the acorn and one with the maple leaf for fall. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I liked it and I thought it was fun. And different. I mean, this is definitely nothing I've seen before. And you can cut it in grids and stuff and decorate. You can put it in your planner. There's a hundred things you could do. So I grabbed some of that. They also had um, copper. Well, brass, I would say, because I got copper and gold. But then they had one that was more red. Maybe it was red. I don't know. But I liked these two the best. Because I'm thinking accents. And does that not look like a marijuana leaf? Because I just feel like it does. It's not, obviously. But, ooh, it could be a buckeye leaf. <laughs> I grabbed some of the Halloween wooden stickers. They're not technically a sticker. They have a sticky on the back. But they're not technically. And I am definitely staining these. Like, I'm whitewashing the ghosts and I'm staining them to make them look like antique farmhousey and not kitschy Halloween. I'll bring you along. But these are adorable. Even to stick on a votive holder or something. So I grabbed a pack. I may grab some more. But I was honestly looking for the Halloween or the fall ones first. But I didn't find them. Um, I picked up a couple of these. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. But... Please, this is adorable. I mean, it says, I guess you could put like an electric tea light in here to make them light up. I would not, not, repeat, do not put flames. I feel like I have to say that. Um, so I got the owl because, duh, look at the owl with the moons and the eyes. I mean, please, that is adorable. Paint him up purple or black for Halloween even. 
as I mentioned, I'm obsessed with the acorn this year. And then the sweet little pumpkin. And they have, you can put stuff in there, maybe flowers. I don't know, but they're adorable. And I needed them in my life. I would stop by the hardware section and get some um, sandpaper just to sand them up a little bit. But I did grab three only of those. And again, we'll do something. I just haven't figured out what yet. I grabbed one package of these ornaments in the maple leaf because, duh. And I feel like if I go back and get the pumpkins, this would make a fun um, garland. Like get a couple of the different shapes, stain them up, paint them up different color solids, even like fall leaf colors. It would be a beautiful garland on some burlap ribbon. <gasps> Yes. See, look, we're geniuses together. So I need to go on the hunt for some more of these wooden ornaments. And they come to a five pack. But I need some more leaves and some more pumpkins. And if I find the acorn, please. We'll see. My one store, I only have one store that has fallout, really. And then I'm going to need you to sit down for this one. Guys, look at this. It's got like a rice or a beads in the bottom, so it's heavy and it will sit like a weeble. And look at them, and the plaid. This is the green plaid with black. And then I got the green, this green plaid, the buffalo check style. I couldn't decide which one I wanted for work because these are going to go on a tiered tray on my desk at work oh, for fall. Look at these. They're so sweet. I hope they come out with something like this for Halloween. Oh, I love it. And the little buttons on their fronts. So adorable. So I grabbed two of those because look. And it will sit, you know, in little tight. It will be beautiful on a three-tiered tray. I don't have a three-tiered to go to work. I just have a two-tiered because my desk is not big, but that is okay. I'm putting these things away. And then I found randomly at the um, end some eyeglass cleaner. And look at the size of this bottle. This is um, 8.45 fluid ounces. Clean my glasses. So I grabbed that. And, oh, speaking of, oh. Scarecrow must be the thing this year. In the middle says, happy harvest. But I want to make a put attach this into a wreath. For my front door i love scarecrows and i thought this is adorable i will definitely have a video up soon i have to go get the rest of the components but this is going to go on a wreath for my front door scarecrow and then i picked up three of these and these are uh, my friends are metal they had them in solid yellow and then the yellow with the orange and these are also going on my front porch in some type of a bucket like a galvanized bucket of some sort or wooden something haven't decided yet but these are going to go on the front porch for fall with oh i would love to get like an apple bushel or something and put them in and make like a little fall vignette for when they come home um yeah, so these are going to go in with some artificial flowers because I think they're adorable. And they're nice. I mean, they're good quality. They'll last a couple of years. If, you're, if you treat them nice, they will be nice to you. Oh, I didn't tell you my drink. Iced coffee from Starbucks. I know I'm basic, but that's my life. Then I found one more of this joy book that I showed you before that you... You know, you write down each day what, or on days. It's not a calendar, so you don't have to write in it every day, but it has space for 365, how convenient, happy thoughts, what brings you joy, some type of, to, and I think I'm going to do it next year, starting in January, but what brings you joy each day? And you write down a happy gratitude in your book each and every day and I just feel like it would just make things life easier and happier to end my day on a happy note from that day so my gratitude book and I grabbed this knitting because I do knit this is Shetland lace knitting patterns for shawls 
and all the things. And you use lace weight yarn. I just think these are beautiful. I love knitting and I love making beautiful things. And so there's some of the patterns that are in here. Look at that white one. That would be beautiful for a wedding. And like a fall wedding for the bride. Oh, so pretty. So this is a book of patterns that I can create anything I want in this book that's in here. Let me see if I can find the pattern for you. There we go. So it has the actual written out patterns. For a dollar, you cannot beat it. I don't know how much it regularly was. It looks like $24.99, $28.99. Knitting pattern books are not cheap, I can tell you that. So I grabbed that. And the last thing I have purchased to go with the floral foam is this bucket. Look at the green. I need another one of these because this is a gift and the sunflower. And then I got some yellow crinkle paper decorative shred. But what I am making is a coworker of mine had a knee replacement surgery. So we're making a candy bouquet. So I have this as the, the vase. I'm going to fill it with this. I have skewers. I'm going to cut the skewers and attach the candy and make a bouquet of candy for her and then I'll cover the foam with this yellow shred. So I just thought that was happy and bright and she can reuse this bucket for fall. I need to use this bucket for fall so I want to go find another one because I love the green and it's just so pretty. So that is it today for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like, share, comment below and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Goodbye. Have a good day. Good day to you and you and you.